Always a pleasure to speak with Auburn guard Zepp Jasper. These weekly talks brought to you by our friends at Baumhauer's. Zepp, that was uh, that was a tough one last night with that uh, that road loss to Georgia. What was kind of the mood of the team and the locker room after that one wrapped up? Well, you know, coming to Georgia game, we knew Georgia. You know, this would be they 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 toughest battle of the year mm-hmm. um, with the great coach Mike White. Um, you know, just you know, coming off that loss last night, you know, the team wasn't very pleased. We were very disappointed in how we played. We let the fans down. We let a lot of people down. It could be unranked out of the top 25 if we don't win Saturday. So, you know, the move was just we ain't going to get this back. You know, this could be some of the last times we played in Georgia, some of the some of the team. This could be some people's last games in the Auburn jersey to play at Georgia. So mm-hmm. it was like, you know, Chris Moore was talking to me and telling me, like, we ain't going to get this back. This once in a lifetime, you know, we come down here and lose to Georgia and lose a ball game. Our energy wasn't good. Our body language. So, you know, it's like we have to go on to the next game now because, you know, we have to still show people that we aren't a fluke, you know, because losing that game really hurt us. Yeah, and so many of you guys are are from that state, right? I mean, you, Chris, um, I think Jalen is as well, and I'm probably leaving some guys out. Katie, so you- yeah. Yeah, and you've talked about that before, about just how important that is. And then with KD, right, I mean, he used to play there. So, I mean, I'm sure there was some added added incentive to to win for him as well. And then, you know, obviously that didn't happen. So how do you how do you respond, both you personally and you you guys as a team? What's the goal in responding to last night's loss? Well, the goal is to, to respond to Arkansas, you know, coming out this loss. Um, we got to show Arkansas that, you know, we just lost to, to a Georgia team that's projected to be, um, eight through 13 in the league. And, um, Arkansas going to come in and, you know, thinking they're going to, you know, bulldoze their way through us. And, you know, we just got to be ready for the moment, no matter who says anything, no matter what people say about this team, you know, it just got to be us. And we got to come in with the mindset of, we only got to take one game at a time mm-hmm. because if we don't take one game at a time, we look ahead, we're going to lose games like we lost yesterday. So this game is going to be one of the most important games of the year because we don't want to drop out of the top 25 and we don't want to lose to Arkansas, especially after last year, what happened last year of them running on court and beating us after being like number one or two um, in the nation. So I believe this is a very, very important game and we can't let the people down. We can't lose two in a row. I can't I can't remember when the last time it happened in Auburn, maybe two years ago, but you know, mm-hmm. last year losing two games in a row didn't happen. Right. Yeah, I mean it hasn't happened a lot over the last few years, that's for sure. The you know, looking at this Arkansas team, I mean, what Coach Musselman has done with this program at Arkansas, I mean, it's pretty it's pretty impressive. And obviously I think the dynamic of last year's game it's going to be dramatically different to what we see Saturday. The fact that it's in Neville Arena and it's at night, it's going to be huge. I mean, that's going to be a very loud arena. And like you guys had to play a very loud arena when you guys went up there. But also like that was kind of their biggest game of the year up to that point. And you guys had to target on your backs at that time. And so now you guys don't really have to play with that target anymore. What is What does that look like? What does that feel like? Uh. Well, last year, like you say, we had the big, the, a big target on our back. You had yeah. every team in the SEC, every team in the world wanted to beat us last year, no matter if they was ranked, not ranked. You know, we we just was that team to beat last year. And right. if we if we if they beat us, you know, we hang their hats out to them. But this year is is just is just it's a different mentality. Um, we're basically the underdogs in this game. You know, mm-hmm. if you really think about it, you know, um, Eric Muscle Musselman, um, he's a great coach. He's a great leader. He does great things. He gets great players, especially players that come out the top 25, top 50, ESPN type dudes. So these guys been recruited by Auburn before. They turned down Auburn to go to Arkansas because they believe Arkansas will be better than Auburn. So, um, you know, when we think about it, you know, we the underdogs and we got to show people why we can beat Arkansas. 
why we can make people, you know, believe in us again. You know, a lot of people ain't believing in us now because if we lost to Georgia. But if I guarantee you this, we beat Arkansas, they'll get back on the train. They'll believe in us. There won't be no negative talk. But negative talk improves people. That's what you're supposed to have. So mm-hmm. when I see negative talk, I look at it like, you know, you need negative talk to improve, to climb. So if you ain't, if you ain't getting negative thoughts, you ain't improving your game. Zep, uh, you and I have uh, both eaten a ton at our friends at Baumhauer's. We, we think it's the best place to eat in the Auburn area. They've got a menu, all kinds of uh, different things. They've got great pizzas. They've got a special pizza oven that is the best tasting pizza in the area, as well as wings and burgers. And what are some of the things you typically get when you see our friends at Baumhauer's? Well, typically the things I get at Baumhauer's, number one is the Bam Bam Shrimp. Mm-hmm. And I also mm-hmm. get the, the Sunrise Burger with the egg on it with some sweet potato fries. Nice. Um, Bumhar is one of you know, the best places to come in Auburn and get food, especially on a game day. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I would advise people to go there on college, the, the college national football um, championship game to, totally. to be at Bumhauer's. That would be a great place to, to be. Um, shout out to Kevin to Hope, you know, for just having that place and making sure people are okay um, in there and, you know, with that being the best place to eat in town. Yep, it, it is. It's the best place to watch sporting events, like you said, as well, Zep. So shout out to Tud Hope. Shout out to his outstanding, outstanding staff at Baumhauer's. It's off the Bent Creek exit in Auburn. Zep, there's a ton of talk about shot selection with mm-hmm. this team. And, yeah. you know, it, it's well documented that Bruce gives you guys and the guards, and it may be, it might extend to more than the guards, Zep. You can correct me if I'm wrong here on that. But the green light to shoot whenever they're kind of feeling like it. Mm-hmm. Is that discussed at all right now? Because shot selection is a big talking point right now when watching you guys. Um, It really ain't talked about. Um, You know, BPI would talk about, you know, running through his stuff, making sure you don't slop through his stuff, you know, running through the plays. Um, I know sometimes, you know, it's, it, it looks bad sometimes. Some people take bad shots, but... Sometimes bad shots go in. Sometimes bad shots make you look bad. But, mm-hmm. you know, he does give his guards the green light and, and let them play with freedom. Um, he does he does that with his guards. So um, I know a lot of people think sometimes that, you know, as of guards, they, they take bad shots and the fours and fives take the best shots of this team. But, you know, sometimes, you know, it keeps, it keeps teams off balance sometimes, especially when the guards are making – tough shots and bad, bad, tough shots. Yeah. The, the guard rotation, it, it seems like it's looked different every few games. Mm-hmm. What, um, what do you think that's going to look like going into Arkansas and, and the remainder of the SEC season? Um, well, we shall see. Um, because that's all we're thinking of, like, uh, it's, it start off with who's hot. Um, who's going to get the best effort. Who's gonna help us win games? Who's gonna have the best energy? Um, that plays a lot of a lot of role into it. Who have the best confidence in someone? Mm-hmm. Um, because if someone don't believe in you, you know, you ain't gonna believe in yourself. So, you know, and you know, a lot of people get discouraged, but I look at it as, you know, um, who's hot? Who's gonna help the team win? And I think it of like, you know, if we if if people are hot, we can win. But if we all cold, it's going to be hard to, to do rotation. So um, we shall see along the lines on how things will change or if they'll stay the same. But we'll, we'll know. Right. Well, Zep, best of luck with Arkansas coming to town this weekend. Neville Arena should be the place to be. It should be absolutely electric Saturday night. And we'll talk again uh, shortly after that, my friend. All right. Thank you.